every province in Canada has a lieutenant governor. Although they're all appointed by Canada's Prime Minister, they are completely non-partisan. The Lieutenant Governor is the Queen's personal representative in the province and the symbolic head of our provincial government. The Lieutenant Governor is an important part of our democratic system who must ensure that there is a functioning government in place at all times and that the legislative and constitutional processes are safeguarded. In addition, the Lieutenant Governor delivers the throne speech to open the legislature, gives royal assent to bills passed there, signs official documents, and closes each legislative session. The office also issues ceremonial proclamations and honors outstanding citizens of the province. Government House is used for many official events and is considered to be the ceremonial home of all British Columbians. As an official residence, Government House provides accommodation to honored visitors to the province, such as ambassadors, international royalty, and members of the royal family. This is the third Government House at the same location in Victoria. The first was Cary Castle, built as a private home. In 1865, it was purchased by the colony of Vancouver Island to serve as the governor's official residence. When BC joined Confederation in 1871, Cary Castle became the new province's government house. 28 years later, in 1899, the house was completely destroyed by fire. A new government house, designed by the celebrated BC architects Francis Rattenbury and Samuel McClure, was completed in 1903. But in 1957, it too burnt to the ground. The present building officially opened two years later. Government House belongs to all the people of British Columbia. Most days the grounds are open to the public year-round. Sometimes you can visit inside the house as well. The Government House Estate, a National Historic Site, is an enduring reminder of our heritage and a continuing symbol of our connection to the Canadian Crown. <laughs>